Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry for the shake on the camera there. Uh, the tripod that I'm using is just a little bit janky. Uh, so what I wanted to go over today was appropriate lubricants to use um, on your firearm. I've had a lot of people say that they use motor oil. I've also had a lot of people say that they use, um, you know, like a light sewing machine oil. Uh, everything from fluid film to, you know, white lithium grease to silicone spray. I really don't think any of those three are going to be really good ideas. They're not designed for firearms. I don't think they're going to stand up to the temperature and the pressure that they're going to be putting out um, as far as, you know, in a, I don't want to say in a fight situation, but even a range situation. Uh, I know of a couple of people that have used WD-40 in the past and it has backfired on them because it turns into this goopy kind of um, sludge, so to speak, afterwards. So the four that I've used and that I would recommend just going off of my experiences would be this stuff right here, which as you can see is, you know, quite old looking. I've had it for a while. It's outers, gun oil. It really can't complain. I'm sorry about that. Somebody just flushed the toilet upstairs, so I'm working downstairs so you can hear that in the background. Uh, this is Outer's Gun Oil. Uh, I've had it for quite some time. I think I bought that back in 2018 sometime. Uh, I haven't even completed the bottle yet, so um, really just to take it to the range and clean it up afterwards. That's basically how I've used that stuff. For a more extreme environment, I would definitely recommend something a little bit um, more premium. Go with the hops. Uh, a lot of people call it hoppies. Tomato, tomato, however you guys pronounce it. Um, and then from there on forward, you can find more of the premium and super premium stuff. The KG Industries gun oil, you know, they have a whole, I think it's like a 1 through 12 or 14 step program uh, that they use. The outlier on this is going to be grease. Um, I do have some of the stuff right here. I haven't even opened it yet. It is TW25B. I'll let you read that real quick. Uh, the temperature range on this is actually really impressive. It's negative 90 degrees Fahrenheit to 450 degrees. Um, one thing that I've seen plague other people is in really cold climates, grease tends to, you know, kind of bind a little bit until it heats up and then it kind of loosens up. I'm sure really any lubricant that's going to be exposed to a really heavy, um, you know, cold is, is going to be like that. Um, likewise, I think a grease would be something a little bit more appropriate for a really hot climate. Um, it's not going to thin out to the point where it's just going to run out of the gun. I've also seen that happen, you know, to a few people in the past just through YouTube videos and stuff. I know some people that were over in, you know, Iraq and Syria and uh, they had a hell of a time keeping their weapons clean just by nature, you know, of the sandy environment over there. They said they would not go with a grease just because it's going to attract all that kind of stuff and just stick to it. Basically turns the uh, inside of the gun into essentially a sandpaper of sorts. So I'm just curious what you guys would use for a gun lube. I would really tend to stay away from anything that's automotive related. A couple of people that I actually know of um, still swear by 10W30 motor oil. And um, they say if it's good enough for a car, uh, good enough for a car, it's good enough for a gun. I tend to disagree on that. I don't think it's really all that great for a weapon. I think it's more suited for, you know, a car like it's actually designed for. So that's basically what I uh, have for you guys today. Um, let me know what you guys think. I'm curious to see what you guys use. Um, maybe something I'm missing. If you can recommend me something that maybe I don't have in front of me, um, I'd be willing to try it out and post my results. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to have a picture coming up in the next, I don't know, five, six seconds or so, just of some t-shirt designs that I'm thinking of. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and uh, we'll put them up, and hopefully you guys like them, and uh, whatever money I make off of that, obviously, we're going to put right back into the channel and keep on bringing you guys these uh, videos. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.